here from Bush Edge Homesteading Australia. And today I wanna to show you three different things that we do with our ginger bug scraps. And these are the scraps that you get when you've got the excess from making ginger bugs. And it's also the excess you get from when you make a ginger syrup to make ginger beer. These here are just ones that I've had previously that I've just popped, um, I think across two or three different soda making events into this little plastic bag. And I pop that into the freezer until I've got a bit of a build up. Now the first one of the uses that I have for this is just to let enough build up and then dehydrate it. If you pop it in the dehydrator, let it completely dry out, you can then grind that up and turn it into a ginger powder. Now I don't actually have enough at the moment to uh, do that and I don't have any in the cupboard to show you, but if you do do that, it's pretty much just like that ginger powder that you get at the supermarket. You just gotta remember that because you've had it in a ginger bug and in a ginger syrup, there's a little bit of sugar to that as well. So it's gonna be a little bit sweeter than what you get at the supermarket, but that can add a really nice flavor to your cooking. So that is our first use. I'm gonna pop this back in the freezer and then I'm gonna show you a couple of other things you can do with the excess as well. Next is ginger beer chicken and with this one it's just some chicken thighs or any other pieces of chicken that you might like along with a marinade made up of the waste ginger from making both ginger beer and also from our ginger bug as well. So with this one here it's just a marinade made up of the waste bits of ginger which of course has some sugar through it already to add a little bit of sweetness along with a bit of soy sauce, peanut oil and also some garlic. Just marinate the chicken up in that, and that's beautiful on the grill. A third option is to use the ginger in lieu of using fresh ginger in your sweet bakes. So this one here was a birthday cake that I did, which was like a nashi and ginger cake. And all I did was just substituted the fresh ginger in the recipe for some of that frozen ginger that I showed you before in the freezer. That's just three ideas for using the ginger scraps from soda making. And I'm sure there's heaps of other things you could do as well. Don't let the ginger scraps go to waste because they still have lots of delicious flavour to impart in your cooking. Hopefully that gives you some ideas for using them. Thanks for joining and catch you later.